Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today what we're going to do is using our white school glue. We're on this white school glue kick because a lot of emails from you guys. How to use your uh, white school glue as a glazing medium. Now, glazing medium you can buy in, I mean, very expensive to inexpensive. Every company brand has them. Folk Art has it. So they have a glazing liquid and, you know, golden and, and, and everybody. Deco art, you know what I'm saying. So, you know, it is uh, fairly, fairly common for them to have it, but maybe you don't have any and you want to, you want to do something. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to cut a piece of, oh, that's a really cool background. It's, I don't know if you can see it. See, it's like iridescently. Very cute. Um, we're going to cut that. And then we are going to take our white school glue, whatever you have. I always use Elmer's. I've used, uh, you can get inexpensive, uh, even more inexpensive ones at uh, your dollar store and stuff. I think even at the, I think Rose Art has one, um, you know, so I'm just going to put out a little bit and my water. I'm going to do three sprays to start. Now, I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to stir it, stir it, mix it, whatever. And I'm going to look at it and see, I'm going back and forth just to see the consistency. Okay, so now we have it, it's clear. So if you want to go on and glaze something, and you can do this with your Mod Podge, you can do this with your Decoupage, you know what I'm saying, and you can do that and what it's going to do is dry and that glazed it but obviously glazing you know you want to add a little bit of color a little something um so we will use a little bit of uh, dutch aqua from folk art and you just want the itty bittiest little bit so i'm going to squeeze next to it because i always am a because i have to squeeze so hard because my hands it you know um <laughs> this isn't coming out <clears throat> I sometimes squeeze out too much like that, but that's okay. Okay, so we will take just a little bit. I'm going to take just a corner. You see, that's all, all we're going to start with, and I'm going to mix it in. Now, something that usually helps, you see this curling because it's wet. Usually, if you squirt the opposite side, it'll kind of lay down again. Will it? I don't know, but it's supposed to. It usually does. Yeah, you see, it's going a little flatter. So, you see I got this glaze going on here. It's a little bit, it's like robin egg blue. I'm going to take a little bit more. It depends on how much you want, how much glazing and the color. Okay, so that's where I'm going to stop with the color, and I'm going to mix it, both sides of my brush, so everything's we don't get a you know a surprise of a big chunk of anything because nobody wants a big chunk of anything unless it's watermelon that's a whole other story so then i'm gonna go ahead and glaze my paper and you can see the color right there so you see i'm just I'm going to glaze it and I'm going to leave it sit there and dry for a minute. But look, you can see it's a very faint, very little uh, color. So if you want it deeper, just go in. And if you add too much paint and you're like, uh oh, you just had a little bit more of the glue and a little bit more water. It's not a big deal. There you go. You see how you're getting the different glaze there. So if you're like, oh, this is not dark enough go in and do it now remember this dries clear so it looks a little foggy and we will dry it in a momento and you will see what I'm talking about now I have <laughs> I have a little eraser things on my desk and it's kind of picking it up I'm sorry I didn't clean it like I should have but anyway that's just it the way it is so you see the glaze. 
and you can see how light it is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to always make sure when you're going to dry it or whatever you're going to do, uh, put your brush in water, rinse it out. I'm trying to make a habit of, uh, not very well, it's not working very well for me, of cleaning it out, taking that second, and then kind of, you know, doing that and wiping it. Oh, I got so much stuff piled up here. Um, and wiping it so it's clean and then setting there, you know, so that's that. So then I'm going to take my hair, your hair dryer, hot glue. I mean, hot, he's a piece. He's done. My brain is not working today. And I'm just going to dry this. And if you don't have a heat gun, use your hair dryer. If you don't have a hair dryer, you can just leave it sit for a few minutes. You don't want to hold it too close because it'll give you a little bit of, um, I got glitter in there too. It'll give you a little bit of uh, bubbling and you don't want that because the white school glue is plasticky. But now remember I had the glue on this side just to do it clear. I think we're good there so you can see look at the glaze nice be careful because you see I mean it is glue let's you know it is what it is but look how you put that nice glaze over the black and then that side you got this really pretty glaze with some glitter in it from a project I did earlier and then this side is just you just kind of sealed it so you can work on top of it so it's a lot of fun very uh easy to do and of course you can add a little bit of glitter you can um like I have a little bit of this glitter here it's uh Multi-surface glitter from uh, Martha Stewart's, and it is Disco Ball. And I am like into glitter right now, extremely into glitter. You gotta shake it, Kel. Uh, okay. And you can see, you can mix that in, but you don't wanna have more product than glue. So you might wanna go in, you don't want to have more paint or more glitter or anything more than you have glue or water. You want more glue because you want it to stick and you want it to, you know, and you should do that with most things. You should always. Okay. I can add a little bit of water if I want, just because I added the glue. I'm just going to add one. That's the distress sprayer. I am not a ranger. Um, I, I don't buy too much Ranger stuff unless it's on Blitzy um, and it's on a good price, which if you don't know what Blitzy is, <laughs> might as well. Uh, it's a great place where you can buy all kinds of craft stuff. Um, every brand name you possibly could think of, everything, stencils, paints, stuff for quilting, sewing, uh, Ken Oliver stuff, Ranger, Jane Davenport. I mean, it's like everything. And it's at a discount and they have clearance and everything. You get it within two to three days. Um, I'll put the link down below. I love it. I, that's where I get most of my stuff, my markers, my ink pads, my everything. So they have golden, they have Liquitex, every, everything folk art. So, okay. So you see, you can kind of see the glitter. No, you can't cause it's, what's it called? Shiny, but it goes on there. And it goes on there. Let's see. You see? And you could see it's a little lighter because I didn't add any more color. I can, if I want, add a little bit more color. I'm a mess. Look at that. I get bigger and bigger. And that's all right. But you see how you can add a little bit more color to it if you want it to make it a little bit more uh, pronounced or to go over something a little bit more. And what I'll do is I'll dry this. I did not rinse my brush like I said I was going to. And of course, you know, you can add, you know, you have any kind of vintage glass glitter or, uh, you know, whatever you want. Pearl X to give it a little bit of something, something. 
you know, when you go to the craft store or even like, um, even on Blitzy, I'm constantly in their clearance section looking. They have like right now, I think they have the Ranger, uh, Tim Holtz markers, those um, Interondac markers on say, on clearance at a great clearance price. They have um, all kinds of stuff on clearance. So you might get a, a glitter on a clearance. Uh, if you know what I mean, uh, whether it's in the store or on Blitzy or wherever. Um, so always pick it up. It doesn't matter that it's one. Don't ever think like, oh, I can only, you know, I'm, I'm going to get one ink pad or one glitter. It's always, you can always find a way to use it. Okay, let me show you a little bit better. There you go. You can see the glitter. And that's a glitter glue. So, you know, you can always put more. My cat just knocked all my stuff over. And, and then this is less paint. So you see how it's a glazing medium? I love playing with this stuff. It's great. And like I said, you can do it on a scrapbook paper. You can uh, draw something with permanent marker. Get out of here. You're not going to eat the plastic. Um, and yeah, so you can, you know, have a ball, have a blast and put it all over stuff. Draw. My computer is really everything at the same time. Just going to go crazy. Okay, but yeah, so that's your glazing medium uh, made with, or your faux glazing medium made with Elmer's White School Glue. Let me know if you guys try this. Let me know how you guys make out. And let me know what else you guys want to see. Um, I'm trying to answer all the Elmer glue questions and do quick videos, so I hope you like them. Uh, if you didn't see already and you're interested, uh, I did a little keto update on the video before this. I will link it at the end of this video if you are uh, wanting to see it. And yeah, as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting and we're just playing. We're just playing. We're not doing anything serious here. We're just doing some art and some playing and mixed media and why not? I will see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so very much and I hope you guys have a great safe holiday.